Are you actually videoing it though? Are you videoing it? We are not videoing your flight right now. We gotta bring him back next week. We have internet issues here. Everybody jumped on the internet and crushed us. Yeah. So we gotta figure out a different way to do this next week. She's taking pictures of us and everything. <laughs> so unfortunately, and, and again, it's the first time we've had this kind of an issue. Um, so we apologize to everybody, but we're gonna we're gonna come back next week. We'll have this all worked out. We'll get it figured out. We just lost the internet again. It happens, but hey. So we will get it all figured out. Uh, I'll get it, I'll, I'll bring a hotspot in or a jetpack or something like that. I should have took Rich's advice earlier. It's fine though. It's fine. But uh, Coach we're Manning, gonna, we're gonna come back. Manning, Shannon Manning, how you doing? I've known yeah. Shannon for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Central Mountain Wildcats. Shannon, who you got with us? Everybody knows these guys, but just to introduce them anyway. Brett Gladwell, uh, Carter Fultz, and Ryan Pence. Brett, where's your dad at? Uh, right there. <laughs> how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm I talked to this guy. All... <laughs> oh, I, I talk to dad all the time online. So. <laughs> yeah, so we're good. But uh, Shannon, first of all, I want to say congratulations to the Wildcats. Uh, I knew when Shannon took this job down here, that this program was going to turn around. I've known Shannon for quite a while and his whole coaching staff. Uh, they're one of the most dedicated coaching staffs I've ever met in my life. Okay, um, this is this is a, 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 a coaching staff that brings in a strength and conditioning program that is probably unrivaled in the entire state. All right. <laughs> I knew you would. So we'll put that microphone up there so they can hear you, buddy. But uh, yeah, congratulations, Shannon. Uh, you got it turned around. I know you're a little banged up right now. Um, growing pains with the new team? I wouldn't say growing pains. I think it's more we've got to we've got to yield through these the injuries. Um, we've had a lot of young guys that we weren't expecting to have to step in at this point. They've done a great job. Um, there were times in the middle of games we had kids in positions they hadn't even played. So I, they've adjusted well. Um, I think we've seen a lot of progress in the kids who have been on the field. Um, there was a lot of sophomores that you know we were hoping this was a year of development, but it's been they played predominant roles in what we do. Yeah, I've seen you guys play a couple of times this year. And I personally was impressed with the play of a lot of guys on your team. Your defense really impressed me, and I knew your defense was going to be good this year um, just because of the, the coaching staff you have, and I've, I've seen what you guys have done before. But uh, talk about your defense this year because that's been a main part of your, your team. Well, I, we started off, and, and we were a little bit inconsistent, kind of trying to find roles for everybody. We didn't have first scrimmage, so it was kind of putting the pieces together as we went. But what, what was happening is every time we felt like we had the, the puzzle put together, then we'd have an injury. We'd realign the puzzle, we'd have another injury. So it was just, it's been constantly putting it together. Uh, last week we had a couple injuries that, that happened in game. Um, Brett's been a little bit banged up. Brett plays a big role in what we do. So we, we just had to make it work. We put a lot of stress on Connor and Rocco and um, Brady Myers. We just put a lot on these young, young kids. And, and they've responded well. They, they really have. Yeah, uh, guys, what's it like playing for Shannon? Uh, let's let's start with you, guys. Oh, that's great. I love it. It's so much fun. Yeah, what's the best? What What do you like? Like, what do you like? What surprised you most about this coaching staff? Uh, their dedication. They always know what to do, like right away with other teams and game plans. Yeah, yeah. They're like that's what I said in the beginning. They're very dedicated. And uh, what scared you the most once you got to know these guys? See, we're gonna have fun with this. We're not. This is not just gonna be football. This is gonna. Be, we're, we like to have fun with these interviews, and, and next week we're gonna have some more fun too. But what did scare you the most when, when you got to know these guys? Yes, definitely coach. What? 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 The way how, how aggressive he gets at practice. He <laughs> <laughs> likes to have his belly on. Right. <laughs> yes, I do. I Not weirdly either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right. The thing that definitely scared me most was definitely Coach Yellow because they warned us like the beginning of the season about we never knew what was going to come out of his mouth. And that definitely like showed us that we never know what he's going to say half the time. And, it just really surprises us. So. Is that microphone coming to your speaker? No. 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 Yeah, it is. He just needs to get closer. Oh, yeah. You got to put that microphone up to your mouth. 
Uh, like a rock star. Yeah, check, check. No? No. It's not, it's not no, but, uh, Thank God. No yeah, you can always tell him you, man. It's a, there's a ginger tonight. There is a ginger. It's a ginger. We get this sound right now. That's fine. But, uh, you know, Coach Manning, 5-3 and three on the year, and you got a good game this week against Midwest. You know, give us a little bit of insight for everyone here for the game this week. Well, it, as soon as it, it makes you nervous, as soon as you go into it, you start looking at the record. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, this time of year, a, a team can be 0-8 and when you start looking at the film and see, break things down. They're not necessarily 0-8 um, from quarter to quarter. At the the end microphone of the game, was turned yeah. off. Oh, uh, Justin turned it off. <laughs> 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 Justin Anyway, coach, keep going. Yeah, so I mean, it, it, it's taking that approach, keeping the kids focused, even though that that that, that they are zero and eight, because as we discussed on Monday, in the last two weeks, we're zero and two, so are they. So that's kind of what we've bridged off of and try to keep the focus moving forward. Yeah, big game for you Friday as well. You know, what are you looking forward to? Uh, I'm looking forward to the last home game, homecoming. Just it's going to be a crazy experience. And I'm just excited to get back out there. <laughs> Starting to come off my injury again. So that's, Exciting. Yeah, the, the, it changed the like because we're not online right now, and I and I want to bring you guys back next week. It kind of changed my line of questioning because you guys all know what this homecoming is all about because it's Bucktail, Central Mountain, and Lock Haven all together. I mean, Shin, did you know that? when you came to Central Mountain? No, no. Yeah, I was aware of it. Um, I, I know that it, 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 for the community, it seems to be a, a really big deal that they were combined. Um, when you're an outsider and you come in, I, I didn't look at it that way. I looked at it as one one singular community, but they're all one school. So it's different being from the outside coming into different perspectives. Um, you know, I was born that it, 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 it still has it, it still has its own issues. For me, for our staff, it has no issues because it, we didn't live it that way. And we don't look at it that way. I, it, from being from Belfont, I looked at it as Central Mountain. I never looked at it as it's Lock Haven and Bang, or however you want to put it together. I just looked at it as one cohesive unit. We're hoping that that's starting to be something that's out there. Yeah, guys, um, speaking of the Lock Haven Bend thing, do you guys still feel like there used to be, I know, and I know there used to be because I, I, I'm very familiar with this area, um, it used to be a very difficult transition. To, to say it's Central Mountain instead of Ben and Sugar and Lock Haven. Do you feel like that's around anymore? Or, or has that kind of like disappeared? Yeah, I think 100% disappeared. Yeah. Well, congratulations on that because I'm glad to hear that. Uh, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of times it's a struggle when communities come together. So uh, I'm just glad to hear somebody say that we think it's gone and that comes from the students. All right. So, Let's, let's hand the microphone back here. All right, so it's time to have some fun with the kids, and, and we're going to have fun, all right? You're going to get a car for Christmas. What kind of car is it going to be? All right, so my dream car has always been a 1969 Ford Mustang. Because that thing is nice. <laughs> <laughs> if I could get that for Mach Christmas. Two. The Mach 2? 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 Mach 2?
Um, probably definitely like down in the Poconos down there. Yeah. Where? Poconos. Poconos. Poconos? Poconos. Poconos. <laughs> you go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Do you have a gun rack in your truck? <laughs> yeah. There's nothing wrong. Why would you go to Bogotá? I feel you'd be nice down there. That's why. Have you ever been there? No. <laughs> but you're not a beach guy, right? No. I'm not a beach person either, so. I don't blame you. I'm not a beach guy either. I took my wife, listen, I took my wife and my daughter on a vacation a couple of years ago. We went to the mountains of West Virginia and rented a cabin for a week. I went trout fishing all week. That's where I took my wife. <laughs> Great thanks to life, buddy. We're like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to Hawaii right over So you guys go to Hawaii, right? Yeah. Have, you, have either of you been to Hawaii? No. No? You want to go there? I would love to go there just to see the lava. Yeah, that's, I, I want to go see lava. Yeah. I want to use, go see some smoking hot lava. So I, I got a good question. Go ahead. I got a question. So I always ask this in my player previews. I think I did one for you, but I don't remember. Um, what is one sport you guys would love to play, but physically can't because you're just you, you're bad at it? <laughs> oh, <basketball. Thank> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, that wasn't your mom. I hope it wasn't my mom. Uh, I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> it's a, I get I get it. people all the time with this question because they don't want to say. I've had like uh, I've had people say karate before. I've probably like, been pretty like, bad at curling. Okay. <laughs> Probably that's the one. Golf. I oh. pretty bad at golf too. Okay. I'm excited for his answer. Definitely golf. Okay. You guys both. I was I was going golf the whole way. Golf the whole way. I, I love. It's fun to golf. Not good. What are you coach, man? Which one sport you you just can't play? Who's the best coach in your golf? Cross country. Not a runner. Do you guys? Okay. So we've asked this question before. You know, it's preseason. What is your guys' least favorite drill that Coach Manning puts you through? Oh. Least favorite. Which one makes you go, oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say any sort of conditioning drill. Yeah. 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 Victory shows up. Oh, oh. Yeah, the final week. The final victory week. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? What did you guys have to do? A lot and all in succession. Okay. Yeah, a really long circuit with no break. And no lights. And no lights. Oh, and no lights, yeah. In the dark? Yeah. yeah. The lights went out. And then what's your guys' favorite drill? In preseason or like during the school? Your favorite. Uh, favorite seven drill. on seven every work. Yeah, 100% of seven on seven. Yeah. Yo. I'd go with the inside route. Oh, oh, that's just me. Because I don't run routes. So. <laughs> yeah. There, there's nothing wrong with that. You didn't bring any alignment today, did you? No, they're, they're, they're scattered about. Yeah, well, give me a lineman. Where's the lineman at? Lineman? Yeah, come on up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Get on the hook. 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 Get on Tackle. <laughs> what else are you? And I'm a middle linebacker. And what else on offense? A running back. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere. Avenue. He's an avenue. Avenue. All right. So you're 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 a left tackle. Yep. Right now. <laughs> For this question, you're a left tackle. Number nineteen. Yep. Coach sends in. Coach sends in your favorite play. Oh, I know what it is. What's your responsibility on that play? Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably your e gap ends because it's the easiest. <laughs> <laughs> usually, the answer for that one usually with all the linemen we interview is anything where I'm pulling because I get to go full speed and hit somebody. <laughs> that's usually that's usually an offensive lineman's favorite play. But uh, yeah, that, I mean, that's, so you're an offensive lineman. He plays everywhere. What you're a 
I'm, I'm a senior. You're a senior this year. So, so it being your senior year, you know, what has been your most memorable slash favorite part of this year so far? This is going to be good. Put the microphone up. I don't know. Probably just the hot start we got off to and all the fun we had uh, coming up to this point in the season. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Shannon, what, what was the biggest, what, what surprised you most about this team? Trying to find out when the pieces started to go together and you could see, you're like, oh, I can see it starting to work. Or there was times that Sean and I would be talking and we're like, that looks like it's supposed to look like. It, it took so long, and I, and I don't think people realize how long it takes to start putting those pieces together. When you're taking an offense that had no association with what they did, or a defense that wasn't married to anything they've done, and you're putting all those pieces together, it, it, there, was, there was probably a month and a half that it wasn't recognizable. And then you just kind of keep putting it together and putting it together, and then as it would go, it was, it was cool to see. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, when, you, when you're putting it I mean, you're a new coaching staff, you got a team that's, oh, let's be honest, Central Mountain has been struggling for a while. And uh, when, when you get to see all those pieces come together, it's got to be pretty special. Yeah, well, it is because it, it, it felt, there was times that, I don't know, Coach B or Coach Hale, it felt impossible for us. I mean, you, you're literally trying to fast track everything from April to be ready to go. And you're used to having kids that have done it since they were in sixth, seventh grade. So yeah. what you would assume is known isn't necessarily a, a fair assumption. You're literally starting over. And I know we just had that talk last week in a staff meeting. You know, you get frustrated when you're seeing the pieces and they don't always work together. And then you have to take a step back. It's, this is only about nine months old. So, you know, when you take all of that into account. I think they've done a great job. Um, Probably the most important part was is when they, they, they were welcoming as us as a coaching staff. Because if they had not been, the progress would have been impossible. Again. Right. And yeah. well, on top of everything, you guys had to battle through COVID, which is you know, one of these these things that you, these guys will be able to say in your future. This, no one else, I don't think anyone else will really lived through this again. Like, through this hard times in football, you know. Dear Lord, I pray not. <laughs> and, you know, struggling through COVID, it COVID probably was even worse. Mercy was bad. We've had uh, our, our fair share of opportunities to be resilient. And they have yeah. been resilient. You know, actually, that, that was a surprise to me because, like, people reach out to me all the time, like, um, I'm up all, the, all night long with phone calls last year because coaches would call me and say, Billy, I need a job. Billy, I need, I mean, I, we need a game. Billy, we need a game. And then this year, one of the first calls I get is we're not playing, and it's not because of COVID. It was because of you guys had uh, skin things going on down there. Yeah, yeah but we had it one round, and then about six weeks later, we had a second round, and, and then we had a whole flu epidemic that went, and then we've had the rash of injuries. Um, Will the, we're the kids have been fantastic. They've had zero complaints. They've had zero excuses. Um, I don't know. I think they've been fun. We're very proud of what we've got from these kids. Yeah, one of my, uh, I gotta be honest, one of my favorite stories that I'm gonna be able to tell this year from, is coming to one of your games actually. And uh, as a reporter, when you cover a lot of schools and, and, uh, and you go to a lot of places, there are certain things that stick out. So I'm at a football game, I'm at the Milton game, and that was when Nick came back. Yes. Yeah, so I was like, okay, so, was it Milton? No, it was Williamsport, wasn't it? Williamsport. Yes. Williamsport. So it was Williamsport, and I was there, and I was actually standing on the sidelines at the end of that game. And for like, if you weren't there, did you hear about it, the Williamsport game? So like, that's going to be one of the stories I remember all the time. Is he thinks he's Nick thinks his season's over. Then he come, then they allow him to come back, just kicking duties. Tyler, you're talking Tyler. Oh, Tyler, I'm sorry, Tyler. It was Tyler. Why didn't you say something? It was Tyler. We're trying to figure out who Nick was. I'm not going to know the name. He might have a name, but I don't know. So it was Tyler. And then I'm on the sidelines, and you're like, when's the last time Central Mountain beat Williamsport? A long time ago. A long time ago. Yeah, we. I had that number, I forget. So then I stood on the sidelines and I looked at a reporter at the end of the game. I said, so is this right? Uh, Central Mountain hasn't beaten Williamsport forever. Tyler thinks the season's over, comes back kicking duties only, and he's gonna win this game. 
and then that stupid referee throws a flag. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> you know, let's give a big cheer for the referee that threw that flag. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, uh, I actually said to Shannon after that game, I said, you know, I said, that's the first time I've ever seen a defensive penalty win a game for the other team. It's yeah. the first time in my life. But uh, that had to be a defining game. I know it sucks losing, and, and you're you're a competitor, and you don't want to lose. But that had to be a moment where you where you said we almost won this game. We made a couple mistakes. This team is better than I thought. Uh, we had just lost Julian two weeks earlier, um, and then we had lost Anton, and they were two pivotal guys in everything that we were going. And, and, and I'll be honest, as a coaching staff, you're sitting there and evaluating how do you move on, because they're, they're two-way guys. So that's four positions, and then Tyler's banged up. So that you're talking about six positions, and you're, you're wondering how can you continue to put a competitive team out. Well, we walked away from that game. Um, obviously, you know, we weren't in the moral victories, but I realized these kids were willing to fight as hard as they could right. possibly fight. Um, and that, that's how it was last week. We had so many kids out of position defensively trying to play the game. I, I still, I, you, you're never happy with the loss, but I was really proud of what, what the kids were able to accomplish. Right. Um, the morale's been good this week. They've bounced back well. I think they've done a great job. Um, those are the things that, that the parents or fans may not see. That those type of how you're, how you're, you're weathering these injuries and how you're continuing to move forward and the way in which the kids are going. Those are the pieces that you're proud of when, when you sit back. That's not what the parents see. That's not what the people in the crowd see. You know, they, they may be playing about X, Y, and Z. But we know exactly what's happening. So when you hear you're losing the game and you walk away, and you know Fred's not there. And all of these other pieces have moved around. You know, you're still proud of what the kids are capable of, at least attempting to do. Yeah, I agree 100%. Um, so let's go back to the fun part. Okay. All right. I always like these questions the most. Yeah. The lighter side of, uh, of, of, of being here. So, uh, what is your favorite class in school? Uh, math. Gym. Math. <laughs> gym class. Definitely like math. Math. Okay. I'm a big gym class guy. <laughs> Someone's being honest. Yeah. My guy. Uh, gym class, but I don't do anything during the school day, but gym class is the one fun period. Yeah. yeah. Shannon, what was your favorite class in school? <laughs> what? <laughs> I enjoyed history. Okay, I liked history, show <laughs> Okay. I'd like to... You're allowed to like history. Oh, no. Chopper game. Uh -oh. Just shut it off, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it finally blew up. Antiquated system. This little special radio show. Oh, <laughs> Trade you, maybe. Oh yeah, take his. Did we lose yours too? Yeah, we lost his. Can you stretch it far enough? Yeah, yeah just reach it. Yeah. There you go. I was excited to leave everything out in the field and just to finish it off, and then go to the playoffs, just finish it and just having a good time. It's crazy yeah. that's ending after Is it, all this done. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's starting to set in a little bit. That little bit. The end of the year, but goal. The season. Goal. Goal, goal, goal. Yeah, they're gold. Those round circles are oh, yeah. gold. Yeah. Yeah, they're cheering for gold, but uh, you know, 
you're, you're a senior, you know, what, what would, what's the biggest piece of advice that you would give to the younger guys on your team? Um, cherish every moment, because it, it really, they say it flies by, and even when you're that age, you don't expect it. Yeah, for sure. But it really does. Yeah, I went, I went through the same thing. I played football, too, but a uh, little low. I actually played against Shannon Manning, his coaching staff, for a few years. I played for Penn and Dallas, so. It was it was it was a rough rough couple years against Belfont, but uh, you know, more Central Mountain. It, it's it, there's only there's only two weeks left, and I don't know what's going on right now. I'm super loud now. Just get all new stuff. Just go with it. It is brand new. All of it. Serious? Chinese. Send it back. What? I don't know. All right. So it's it's week eight of the season. It's going by. You know. How do you feel? Like I know you come back from an injury, but like, how do you feel? Um, I feel pretty good. I feel. I feel like I still got some more to give, though, for the end of the season. Okay. You have another question for these guys, Billy? I'm out of questions, honestly. Oh, me? I'm out of questions, yeah. You're out of questions? I hope Central Mountain has a better weekend than I'm having right now. <laughs> so, um... We're going to cut it short here, and I hope to see all of you next week. I promise we will have all the bugs worked out. We, we've done, what, eight shows already, nine shows, and this is the first time we've ever had catastrophic failure like this. But uh, I'm blaming China, because that's where some of this stuff came from. China, yeah. They, 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 China, the Chinese are destroying our country every week. But... Uh, Hey, Shannon and guys, thanks for coming, and I apologize. Everybody here, thanks for coming. Listen, I want to see you all next week, all right? We're going to get this online, we're going to get this fixed, and we're going to get it taken care of. Uh, please come back next week. This was the State of PA Football. Is Tom coming? Tommy Grant, no, no, he won't come. He won't come next week. Uh, not Rob here. forget it. I will say one thing about Tommy. I do like Tommy Gravish. And one of the reasons Jersey Shore is so good is because Tommy is much like you guys. He's a very dedicated coach. So uh, I don't want to badmouth any coaches because I love all coaches. And uh, Shannon, you're one of the best coaches I ever met. And I mean that, you know. So you are one of the best coaches. And it's one of the best staffs. You know? so, I mean, how many, how, many, how many coaching staffs can walk into two programs in a row and turn them around and make winners out of them? I mean, you're doing a good job, Shannon. I congratulate you. Thanks a lot. Good luck this weekend, Wildcats.